1041 NBC Sports. It's time for Friday Night Football Scores and Highlights. You're in the end zone. Brought to you in part by Macon Bedroom and Mattress, Fountain Car Wash and Lube, Georgia Orthotics and Prosthetics, The Rifleman, and Robin's Bed and Mattress with Bill Shanks and Tucker Sargent. And good evening, everyone, and welcome to End Zone. I'm Bill Shanks from Middle Georgia's ESPN and The Telegraph. It's the first full week of playoff action around the state of Georgia, and we've got you covered. We will have games in Warner Robins, Forsyth, and Fort Valley in just a bit. Plus, our game of the week is from Milledgeville as John Millage tried once again to make the state title game. Joe Dupree's uh, team will also have some highlights from Southwest coming up in just a bit, but we start tonight with Twiggs County hosting Marion. Let's go back to the highlights of this game now with the Cobras trying to advance in the playoffs. Here we go for some highlights of this game. And the band was playing early on here. The Cobras were already up six to nothing when Javar Smith is going to break through and take off again. Look at him go all the way down the field. He is gone for a touchdown. How about that? After the failed two point attempt, it was 12 to nothing. Cobras out on top. This one was all Cobras, folks. I mean, all Twix County. Here's Smith again. Gets it from Calvin Stevens. Look at that. That was beautiful right there. Nice play. Cobras in control. 18 to nothing is the score. Now it's Javon Height coming up and his turn to get in the action. He's going to drop back and break through here for the hole and get all the way down to the one yard line. Did not get in. But on the very next play, Twiggs would bang it in to get there to make it 32 to nothing. Here we go again. Stevens back looking, finding Smith, and he's going to get another six points right there. All Cobras, 40 to nothing in the half, and they win it 46 to 7. The final, they are at Manchester next week. The Cobras are now 8 and 3 on the year. Now to Stratford, the Eagles hosted Holy Innocence tonight. Here we go. We used a drone tonight. Well, not really. Just kidding. Stratford already up 21 nothing when we got there. Eagles quarterback in trouble. Here we go. Josh Bevel is going to get it, and he's going to uh, get a play right there to near midfield. Then at the 50, fourth and one, Casey Sanders is going to take off. Keep going. That's what you call a touchdown right there. A nice touchdown. And this was all Eagles. I like these local teams playing well and having early leads. 28 nothing Stratford right there. Golden Bears did nothing on offense. Eagles would get it back on the 46 now. Screen pass coming up to Nathan Hunt. He's going to get about an 11-yard gain right there down around the 35. Then number 24 again. It's Casey Sanders. Handoff. And he gets up to around the 24. Second long now. Tyler Jordan is going to run left side. And get right around the 24 Then the pass coming up here to Trey Giles. It's going to be complete 15, 10, knocked down there inside the 10 yard line. Then Sanders again, the touchdown, touchdown Eagles. This was all Stratford. It was 35 to seven. They win it and they are now eight, three on the year and play at Tattnall next week. I bet you that'll be our game of the week coming up next week. We've got more playoff action coming up with the Eagles, Bulldogs, and Trojans. More of the end zone right after this. At George